Welcome back to another great school year that's ready to begin. I just want to go over with you the setting up your grade books in grades 7 through 12. Uh, so let's just go through the process quickly right now. There have been some upgrades done by Infinite Campus in its latest version that we're sitting in right now. So once again, uh, you go into your marking period one, uh, choose a section that you would like to work in. Uh, your task is marking period grade. Uh, we're going to go to settings. Your first step should be go to grade calc options. You'll be prompted, just click continue. Now they, they have made some new features here to hopefully make the process a little bit easier on your end. And once again, you see all the different grading tasks that you'll be responsible for throughout the rest of the school year. And we're looking to set up our marking period grades for M1, M2, M3, and M4. So you'll see here what we're looking for. We, you know, we everything's listed right now, terms, and all the terms through the course of the year and the grading test. So we're really only worried about setting up our marking period grades right now. Okay, you'll see now it's filtered out M1, M2, M3, and M4. And now we wanna make sure that we can now do these calculations. The old way of just doing it, you can still do it this way once again, you can do it each of them one step at a time. So we need our type to be in progress. Our grading scale, this course has no weight on it whatsoever. So it's gonna be numeric. Uh, and this teacher is going to be doing total points. So they do not need to collect, they do not need to select anything else here uh, if they're doing total points uh, for their averages. If you do have weighted categories, please make sure you do check weighted categories. Uh, and no one should be using the cumulative grading starting in. Okay. And once again, you can set it up doing it this way. I go in progress. Uh, once again, everything should be matched, numeric, um, and do the same thing for marking period three. I would also like to show you though, we have this new thing here with fill options. So you could do it all in one step now. So once again, filter type all, term all, right? We can select what we want, right? Mark and period grade is a task that we want to take care of. The fill calculation type, we're going to go in progress. We want to let the program know that we are doing numeric, okay? And we select okay. You'll see now we'll fill in for each of your quarters, marking period one, two, three, and four. After setting up your grade calculations, please make sure that you do save what you have done. And you'll have to do the same steps for every single section. So once again, uh, you just go grade calc options, click continue. You're going to select your filter type grading task. We want marking period grade, our fill options, we're gonna do in progress, numeric, okay, and save. Okay, once again, just a reminder, if you are a person that does weighted categories, make sure that you do select weighted categories. The next step would be is setting up your categories. So we'll select categories, and you can set up for all of your classes. All your sections are here. To create a category, you select add. Name your category. So here, this category will be quizzes. Select the sections that you would like to add quizzes to. You can add your weight in if you would like, and you can also sequence it in your gradebook of how you want things to appear. So if you wanted your quizzes to show up first in your gradebook, you would select one. Um, and whatever the next subject or next category you'd like to show up in your gradebook, you would select two and so on. Make sure that you save your work. Your other option to create your categories, and if you're not changing anything from last year, you could use a tool called Category Copier. A Category Copier, right, you can select the year previous, 1718, and I want to copy my categories from last year's courses. So I select Language Arts 8. All the categories are going to stay the same homework, quizzes, tests, projects, and participation. We click next. It's now asking me where do I want to copy it to? And I select the course that I want to copy it to. And when you are done, you can select copy. And now your, your categories have now also been copied to this current school year. 
Some other new features that you'll see on the left-hand side, um, you'll see if you scroll down and go to reports, they've now condensed everything into the same area with reports. Um, you'll see attendance reports you can pull up here, different gradebook reports that you can have now created, uh, and also roster. Uh, these actually used to be all three separate tabs, uh, but now all three of them can be found uh, under the reports tab on the left-hand side. Thank you. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and helped you set up your gradebooks. Just a final reminder, uh, depending on the courses that you teach, uh, if you have a course with a three-point curve on it in the high score at Fieldstone, that is a level one course. If you have a course with a five-point curve on it, that is a level two course or a level two weighted course. Thank you and have a great school year.